Right then, so welcome back to the channel. It is absolutely freezing, as you'll probably just worked out by that introduction, but yeah, we've got an interesting video today. Effectively, what's happened is somebody's got in touch with me and asked if I could do a video on fitting some of their parts, as they have a lot of sort of people asking how to fit them, what they do, everything like that. So I'm going to show you. So this is what we've got, and a big shout out to Chris and Robert for sending me these. ARB blocks. So a lot of you are probably quite familiar with these and what they do. So firstly, when you lower the car, it resets the geometry a little bit by dropping your anti-roll bar. So it positions your wheel back in the center of your arch. That is a first thing. And the second thing is, if you've got some sort of exhaust manifold that is not stock, so a stainless manifold, 421, whatever you've got, what you need is a set of these. And what this will do is just give you that little bit of clearance that you need to be able to fit the exhaust and it not smash off your anti-roll bar. So everything that we've used today, I'm gonna to leave a link down into the description. I will show you how to find it later, where you need to go. But yeah, for now, we've got these. They come as a full fitting kit. So we've got little 18 mil brackets. They go onto the anti-roll bar and basically secure these in place. Bolts, also the steel plates to make it all nice and shiny and new. Once we get the car back on the road as well, I'll sort of explain how it drives with these on, what sort of difference it makes. I did already have a set of these, but yeah, again, shout out to Chris and Rob, because my old set were white and these are black, so they're a much neater finish. They're really well done, actually. I don't know if you can see, but all the sort of edges are all beveled off, so yeah, there's no sort of sharp corners. Again, on the steel plate, it's all really nice and smooth. So we've got that. And the other thing that we've got is this. This is basically a second anti-roll bar. I haven't had one of these before, so I am interested to see sort of how much it stiffens up the car. Some people will have to drill the car for this. I have already checked mine and the holes for one of these are already there. So you might have one hole on one side, but you might have to drill the other. And the other exciting thing is that I've got my anti-roll bar powder coated and it has come back looking absolutely lovely. So I'm really happy with that and it's also cleaned up all the ends quite nicely. It should be all nice and tidy and clean when we put it back together. So let's get to it. So there you go, if any of you were wondering how I actually get some light in here, that's how I'm doing it at the moment. So if any of you are working in the dark, I do suggest you get a little power inverter, hook it up to your battery and just get a big LED floodlight or something. It's done me well so far. Like I said, I know the lighting is not great in here, but you've got to do what you've got to do. And this is probably the best I can make it. So anyway, we'll crack on now. The first thing I'm going to do is bring the anti-roll bar in here. I'm going to put the anti-roll bar. I've got some new washers and stuff like that that I've had shipped over from VW Classic Parts. Um, yeah, stick the anti-roll bar on so I know where to position these blocks and then we'll get it all put together and I'll give you a bit of a step-by-step -step on what to do. So these are the new nuts and washers that I've got for the freshly powder coated anti-roll bar. As you can see, they are all sort of nicely zinc plated. They are from Classic Parts Germany. So I've got a nut for each side and then two of the dish washers that you see here for each side as well. So when fitting these washers, you need to make sure that the dish is outwards. A lot of people do fit them incorrectly with the dish inwards and lessen the life of it. So yeah, make sure you fit them the right way around. So once the anti-roll bar was back on, I could crack on with fitting the ARB blocks. Now, before you put them on, you do need to make sure that you put a little bit of grease in the actual hole where these two blocks mount together. I just used a bit of copper slip because I didn't actually have any grease, but as long as they've got something in there to lubricate them, 
it should be all right. So I found that the easiest way to do this on your own is once you have got the anti-roll bar fitted again or if you haven't actually taken your anti-roll bar off and it is still connected to your lower control arms, just get a jack, put it under the control arm, jack it up and it should take your anti-roll bar and these blocks up with it and sort of locate it itself. So once that's roughly in the right position, you want to put the little steel spacer plate on and then each of the bolts with a washer on as well. It might take a little bit of fettling to get in the right position, but once it's caught a few threads, you should just be able to go in and tighten it all up. Make sure to get both threads in before you tighten them all the way as well. I did make this mistake of putting one bolt all the way in and then I couldn't get the second one in. So yeah, do them a little bit at a time and it should be easy. Right, there we go. So the first part of the video is completely done. We have got the new ARB blocks back on the car. They're really easy to fit. Like I said, it's, um, it's like a full kit, so it's got everything you need. It's got the block, the plate, the bolt and a couple of washers in there as well. So it's really easy, probably take you half an hour to an hour. Easiest way to do it is if you jack up each end of your anti-roll bar while you're doing it, that'll make sure that they sort of locate themselves and then it's just a little bit of tinkering to get them to fit. But yeah, really easy install, great product. It makes sure that you're not gonna hit your anti-roll bar on your manifold and it will also correct your wheel in your arch. So if anybody's lowered the car and the wheel is sat back in the arch, you just need to get some of these ARB blocks and that should sort that out. So yeah, big thanks to Chris and Robert. I'm gonna fit the secondary anti-roll bar now, and don't forget, if you want any of this stuff, link down below in the description, go grab it. So fitting this secondary anti-roll bar was arguably more fiddly than fitting the blocks. The main reason for this is that the bolts in the ARB block just bolt straight into part of the chassis, whereas with the anti-roll bar, I've actually got to get a bolt in with a nut on the back. And as you can see here, there's a really small hole that you've got to manage to get your hand through and get a washer and a nut on the back of that. But after you've managed to get it on a few threads, get a spanner or a different ratchet on the back of it, tighten it up and you should be good to go. And that is it, we are all done. We've had a, a lovely successful day to be honest. There's been no no throwing tools, no swearing, no nothing. It's been it's been easy. So yeah, if you do want to grab some of these products, description below, or I'll show you how to get them now. And yeah, can certainly vouch for the quality of them. Might get the anti-roll bar painted in black at some point, but yeah, apart from that, it's been a very successful day and I'm happy with the outcome. Got loads more to come. If anybody's noticed. We've had some presents delivered from Gaz, so we shall be getting these on very soon. We're nearly there, everything's nearly back on, and we're nearly ready for these, so yeah. If anybody has got a set of these, send me some pictures on Instagram. My Instagram's just here, but yeah, send me some pictures of what your car looks like with these. I'm intrigued. We'll unbox the rest of them shortly, maybe in a, maybe even the next video, to be honest with you. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you've got any questions about fitting that kit or anything else to do with the polo, and make sure you smash that subscribe button to keep up to date. See you in the next one.